What's up guys, this is the Braveman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to run off my last time, uh, we successfully defended uh, the Spanish capital of Madrid from these two Spanish armies. Of course there is still the chance that this army comes down from the north, however they are depleted, so I don't know to what degree their forces will actually be. And we also knocked back this force here that was camping near the town of Evora, Evora or Avora. And back to Gibraltar, so now we can actually spend money in Lisbon. Not very much though, because I've not got much money left. So let's put a church school. And let's fix the trade port. So and also what happened was because we are still warring with the Polish Poland Lithuania, they actually sailed to capture New Mexico. Well, Mexico in New Spain, which I definitely want to take. So we have an army here, just off the coast of Cuba, waiting to pick up some artillery and some reinforcements, where they will sail over and capture the territory from us. It also works because eventually we'll be at war with New Spain again, and it would be nice to be able to knock them out fairly easily. <clears throat> Chances are this this guy that's currently garrisoning the fort, he'll end up moving east back towards Caracas, but I don't want to leave the border undefended, so I might just leave those troops there. For Payden Hawthorne to work his way through the forest. I could transport him by ship, but there's no real rush. And that's how things are at the minute. Things are things are pretty good. So I want to build up this fort, this army here in Fort Moncton, up to an army and actually take Munich. I need to get ready to advance this force from Brussels over to hit Cologne. I also have this force here into Amadeus Crisp, who I'm actually just going to set to automatically head towards Strasbourg, because he is replenishing en route. Then let's spend a bit of cash trying to fix some of our French holdings. And this chap's going to go along and destroy the army here at Marseille. But this is the last French territory and soon they will be gone. And they don't really have much of a force as it is. We also want to take Cologne. Then we get to the awkward possibility, or the awkward potential, of Amsterdam. They're, oh, they're a protector of Dagestan, so if we declare on them, Dagestan has allied with Russia, Georgia, and the Mughal Empire. Uh, yeah, I might want to actually clear out this area. Let's take Cologne, Strasbourg, Munich. Let's knock it. Let's carve a bit of a bulge into Poland, and then we'll start to experiment with warring with Russia, because then the Spanish armies can sail, capture the North African coast and then start to land in Istanbul and Athens and start to open up a southern front. Interesting, very interesting, but I have no money, so let's hit end turn. Let's see what happens. Oh, speed up time. <clears throat> Make sure to mark off this part that's being recorded on my little ledger. So it's fascinating because because right now you guys will, will actually know what my next campaigns are that are going to replace my US and Great Britain campaigns, but at the time of recording, I don't actually know. Um, because I'm, I'm recording ahead. Because at the end of August, the last week of August and the first week of September, um, I'm going to be going home, so I'm not going to be at my computer. So my plan to not have what happened last time happen is to start building up a, a bit of a surplus a bit earlier, so there's not much of a rush, as much of a rush at the end to get it all sorted, and I can get everything uploaded rendered and ready to rock and roll so you guys don't miss out on any content. That's my plan. Um, so if there are any requests and things like that, they might be a bit delayed in getting actioned, unfortunately. Um, but we'll see how we go. I don't want to record too far ahead because I don't want things to get delayed too much. I don't want to leave it to the last minute and finished. It really went to part because I fix it worse because I had to do it all I would have had to have fixed it all on my phone. Then there was things like wrong videos were uploaded, stuff like that which I couldn't do remotely because my PC was about 200 miles away. That's my plan. I've got many requests. So, um, the actual impact of recording minimal. I think one two campaign episodes, then I'll, I think overall want to build up two, two weeks. Two weeks is, is solid. If I can get to two weeks, then I'll just start to uh, 
chip away at it a bit more, you know, normally. Or, or just maintain the pace of a video a day and I'm great. Um, I just need to get that bandwidth secure. Ah, the Dutch getting owned by the Barbary States. Up to their old trick. Cartagena. Yep, raid me as much as you like, monsieur. Oh, not monsieur. You're not a monsieur. Make ready. You're all punishing. Or do I just knock him out now in one big battle? Because we'll hit. We'll bring these guys in. These guys are the remnants of their defeated force. They've only got one army to the north, to be fair. Um, but first, actually, let's repair the things that are broken in France. They're more of the more of an economic priority at the moment. Good France is paying tax. You're still replenishing. So who do I want? Do I want to merge anyone? No, to be honest, they're all pretty fairly healthy. They shouldn't drop too much in experience. March on to Strasbourg. He goes nearly at full strength. I run out of money again. Ready for order, sir. Your Majesty. So you're joining the artillery fort. Yes. Yes, sir. You're not joining anyone. Lord. Ah, this infantry and cavalry is joining Sheridan march. Goodfellow. And let's march them on. March. So go hit the next turn. So I've got howitzers. Next turn I'll get my get my some more infantry, then I'll go attack New Mexico. But in the meantime, orders, your majesty. So if I remove yes, these guns into here. Anything more? You need guns as well. Lord. Men! Forward! More orders? I mean, we do that. Waiting further orders. That's an army, barring the militia. Let's get rid of you. Then you hold here for one turn, then they're going to punch out and hit um, Munich. Although, actually, they've got lots of armies in this channel here. I need to get recruit some foot artillery for them, then I can start to push out and threaten Vienna from the south. You guys are replenishing. Oh, I think. I think I just take him out. I think I just take Justin Gates and his army, seize Gibraltar, and let's fight. Oh, their armies. To be honest, all of their armies are pretty depleted, but let's do it. Let's attack Gibraltar and destroy the British Empire to be replaced by a new empire. Not the British Empire, but the British Colonials. <laughs> So then once these armies are done, they will secure... Uh, well then again, I'm not actually... Well, I want to get... Trip no, do I really care about taking North Africa? I think the answer is not really. They're not my campaign objectives. Cairo is, but I can attack them at a later date. So let's set my guns up. Set a core of line infantry. Although, to be honest, we're probably going to be advancing up. So, let's spread them out. Let's put a set of guns up here. Let's group my cuirassiers together up on the hill on the right. Same with the bulk of my elite infantry. How else can come with me? Camera on the centre. Yep, they deployed right at the back. So let's get ready to push. Let's move up the howitzers. Who are you engaging? Pipes. Oh, they are pushing up. 
but not enough to actually worry me. I might turn the noise down, on, the volume down on my end. There we go. Ah. Oh, no man died from cannon shots to the back. Yet. Run! Get clear of the guns. Yep, there goes one. Now I can walk. Good hits. Aha! The light horse. And to be honest, I haven't left my guns exposed. So let's leave, put two units of infantry in. Hey, you're charging now, eh? Square. Let's keep my guns going. Damn, you just halt a number here. Run my infantry in. Okay, let's pull you guys back. Fire will off. Let's commit my cav to hopefully break their regiment of horse before their pikes get involved. The square has prevailed. Let's set these units up to eviscerate the column as they advance through the town. Quickly, before their pipes get involved. Let's keep my house, let's drop them round shot to try and earn some experience. Okay, good. Run the cavalry away. Like, run! No, don't run, don't... Go wide, fireball on. Oh, I'm broke already. I'm gonna be super upset in a minute. By the cavalry. Bandoleros. Can't get shot bits. Good. Let's get my artillery doing close support inside the town. You push up that side of the house. You guys push up this side of the house. And then this cavalry unit go after the shotgunners. Yep, you get one shot. You get one volley, that's it. Let's refocus my artillery fire. One shot, and they didn't use it wisely. That artillery is shooting well, this artillery shoot at the shooting at the back. Slice them up. There's richer targets elsewhere, but to be honest, sometimes I'm in the mood to maximise my experience games, sometimes I'm just really not bothered. This is the general throwing his lot in. It's quite nice. Let's get 
Cavalry busy. Okay, you run. Go take the Bandaderos over there. You kill the last shot gunner. You also go after the Bandaderos. Sweet. So the reinforcements are coming in from over here. Reinforcements over to the other flank. Okay. Push up through the town. through the town aggressively, A to secure it, and B to be themey. Form the square. Uh, the artillery on the left, which is you, Start engaging the head of the column. The general's been killed, charging this square, I suspect. Yep, there he is. Can you even engage? Nope. Slim with the artillery up, slim with the house, is that? Let's march forward to meet the enemy. He's broken in the face of my infantry. Force them to do battle. Present your front rank. Got a few hits. And you can safely target them. and stuff are never going to get get over here, but one can dream. Put a square in the face of the bazaars. You instead. Plagues are routed instantly. Nope, come back. It's gonna cavalry force back atop the hill. Sure as hell looks like it. Yeah. 
counter charge straight into the Royal Irish Regiment. They're a light infantry unit. Immediately broke. Wavering. They do look great though, I reckon. Charge him. Let's take him out. And the heavy cavalry bowl down the hill into the remaining forces. Okay, don't charge them then. These guys will. He's got. It's not more pokes, is it? It is more pokes. Chop away and get the hell out of dodge. His guard have broken. Says your pikemen look very upset. See if 78 can take them out. Advance my troops through the melee. The Swiss pikes are making it to the ranks. For some reason, they're shooting in cavalry style. Bring the rest of my troops out. Pikemen are falling back. Let's move my cavalry forward. No, Swiss pikes! Fire will off. Then in the last minute, fire up will on. As they fall in a tremendous fashion. There we go. The last of a ragged house. Well, so ends the terror of the Spanish. While well, they provided much of a challenge, damn right it was decisive. We just destroyed an entire faction, people. But that did go rather well, I must admit. And so, Francisco Castillo Fajardo, bang. The troops for battle. Damn right, prepare the troops for battle. Sail into your new port. Orders received. Sweet. So where I was going is I'm not at war with the, the Northern Territory, with the North Africa. The only territory I need is the Ottoman Empire. At some point you'd stab the Britons in the back and get Ireland. Which, to be honest, might not be a bad shout for one of my next targets. Hmm. Because I have to do it sooner rather than later. And I do need to make sure I bottle up, bottleneck all their troops. See, like, that's a stack right there. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. <laughs> so I need to bottle them up with some navies. They don't have to be good ones, but they have to be something just to blockade them. Because apart from that, they have no... Well, so these are all the colonial territories, which I'm not so worried about. The only ones they have in Europe are 
Edinburgh, Dublin, London, and Tunis. We can hit Tunis with one of these guys. So let's give you over to Cartagena. Yep, so Lisbon's okay. Not not being taxed, they aren't. Madrid are happy. Yeah, they're fine. They'll complain a bit, then they'll be okay. Sweet. So, as much as I'm fighting up here against the French, um, I'm actually in a pretty decent position. I've got two, soon to be three, decent forces fighting up here. I'm holding the poles off quite well. If I knock out the Brits, I get some chance to cool new, recruit cool new units in Edinburgh and London. Because I get access to the, the Highlanders and the Klansmen and stuff like that. But Britain is allied with Russia and the Mughal Empire, so if I declare on them, it's... You know, near as damn it, world war. So I think it might be better to spend some time preparing. So I could take Cologne and Strasbourg, knock out a couple of my enemies, spend a bit more time consolidating. Sweet. You're converting on majority Protestant now, still got a bit of religious unrest. Yep, every turn they're slowly converting. Lombardies, they're all converting and becoming Protestant, even Catholic France. <laughs> okay, good. Got quick climb going, which is important against the Mughals. Okay. So, intermediate plan knock out France and Strasbourg. Next plan to quickly blitzkrieg the British. I should be able to take land an, land an army off of Tunis pretty simply. I'll position them in Sardinia. And then. Uh, absolutely not. I don't care about your military access. I'm not going to give you all that tech. Don't don't touch Croatia, not yet. Leave them alone. Give them another turn to replenish, please. So this is the this is where we're at. If I can knock out what well, bits, I need to quickly take Tunis and then say hit somewhere like Athens. You know, to give give the Russians a proper target. And then if I take Britain, those armies will be a springboard to landing in Scandinavia. We'll take Norway and Stockholm. With decent sized forces recruited from the British Isles. I think that's quite a quite a tactically sound idea. Cause I don't, don't want to declare on them. Well, at some point I'm gonna be at war with the whole world. It's just kind of inevitable. Um, right now I've been managing to do it smartly. Unless. Ruling classes have written a letter of demands to your national leader oh, as wow. they are unhappy with the current government. Failure to comply will lead to an organized rebellion. Not anymore, it won't. Have an opera house. Why have I not got much money? 34,000. I'm sure I had more money than that. Okay, you don't need to be a dockyard. Because we've got one here for Gibraltar. Destroy the Jesuit College. Do some repairs in Madrid. Have you got good roads? No, you don't. That's a good upgrade to get for you. Chap school. Let's upgrade you. You've already got a church school. No, not yet. Soon. Let's upgrade some farms and vineyards because they're cheap. So, I've considered, and my new plan is actually to take out these enemies, existing enemies, knock out 
Poland a bit more. Like, if I can take... I mean, I'm still at war. No, I'm at peace with Prussia. If I can take Munich, Vienna, Hungary, I can set up some quite good defences. And I'll have destroyed quite a good chunk of their fighting power. Maybe even sail a force around to hit somewhere like Konigsberg. So I definitely need to do some damage to the Poles, because if I attack Britain and Russia joins them, then I am... You know, it's Britain, Poland, Russia and the Maratha Empire. The Mughal Empire, sorry. Um, which I suspect will join them, because you know how they like to declare on countries of the AI. So I think it might be good to thin down my enemies a bit. Because right now, if I declare on the west of the world and have to deal with this kind of stuff, that's a problem. Ready for Ready um, okay, let's send Sheridan to go just quickly knock out those depleted chaps. Now Marseille. So you can replenish and come back to meet his armies in northern Italy. You can go into Marseille now. You need fixing. We can't fix any of you. So yeah, I think that's my plan. If we can take out Cologne, take out Strasbourg, and actually the United Provinces, who are you f allied with? So you're a protector of Dagestan, which we've already established. I mean... When I declare on Britain, I may as well de I'll declare on Amsterdam as well. Because I'll probably be at war with the Mughals and the Russians anyway. So, at least then I can just stop them. Stop them from being frustrating behind enemy lines. Sweet. So you have one unit to replenish. You're on the march. Can't repair anything else. Workers were on strike in Morocco. They're okay now. They were on strike in Spain, but they're okay now. Ready for, ready so you can go to Cartagena, and you'll get ready to be shipped over. Unfortunately, they don't, they don't have a coastline for me to attack easily. Orders, your Majesty. Andrew Hamilton can also get over Forward. here. Ooh, a dockyard. But I've already got a shipyard. So both these armies are going to land... I'm going to be shipped to help wear down the Poles. If I can take Vienna, or if I can take Munich and Vienna, I'll try and see if I can get peace. Because holding this would be a doddle if they want to strike south from Prague. Ah, Cuban infantry is ready. Let's sail you, hopefully straight into this port. No, oh, not quite straight in. So we've deposited our army. And let's get the navy back to the dockyard here in San Juan. Um, you... Where's the best place to send you? Oh, I believe from somewhere up here. Good New York. Understood. You go to Yorktown. Ready and waiting. Sweet. Oh, okay, I've got to keep you. I've got to keep this agent on the move. Down to Annapolis. Because this is where the <laughs> that uh, French damn priest went around converting everyone. So I've got you, let's get you over to... Okay, let's start to convert Savannah. Because if I declare on... Russia declares on me, I need to be ready to jump on this territory straight away. Yeah, we can tax you now. Soon the religious, un religious, religious unrest is going to go down. Okay, let's hit end turn. Let people move. Once more, then after this end turn, we'll probably end the episode. So let's shift over some howitzers across. Whew. But yes, if I can make, if I can get some gains against Poland and forge a temporary peace, 
That would be perfect. Then I'll take up with Fabian France. Then I'll declare on Britain and see what happens. <laughs> but it all depends on getting that peace with Poland first. Getting into position. Am I at war with Russia already? I think I might be actually, come to think. God, the things that slip your mind. <laughs> well, if not, if I am at war with Russia, then one of my armies is immediately going to sail to Athens to open up a Russian front. To draw effort away from the Polish border. Mainly because I saw it was red. And it was red down near uh, Hungary, which I didn't like. The Westphalians are uh, growing in strength. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Good. Select the type. So go to trade port. To get you to a dockyard. Like, do I just keep? Am I going? Am I going insane? I'm just not getting that much money at all. Like my, my ministers aren't secretly horrible. Let's boot you for someone else, maybe. No, I want him. I want Rufus. Because it seems like um, I should be making bank, but I'm not. Oh no, not a, not an estate. Let's build up these. Oh, let's build you up as well. Good. And let's upgrade you to a chapter school. So, am I at war with Russia? I am. In which case, then... You, oh, good sir. We'll sail your army onto Cartagena. Still ship shape. Embark Elias Fielding. Sail him over to Greece and deposit troops. Well, actually, hold just off the coast. Oh, yes. I mean, I'm definitely a war to that because that's not a fight. Proud and victorious. Good stuff. So let's fix the government building. Not so bothered about replenishment. Let's use my navy to raid the strait. Hmm, they really don't seem that bothered by me. Okay, so let's see the Venice army. Well, actually, you are nearly, you're damn near ready. Let's take out two units of infantry here. Waiting further on. Get the guns over. Bring you up Bye. to Venetia. More orders. I'm a bit concerned there might be an ambush in here somewhere. Make ready. Forward. Any oh. further orders? Oh, he's okay. My lord. Bye. You stand still, buddy. March. Make ready. Well, I mean, these guns can definitely come over here and. Take these guys out. Get two of these 12 pounders over to the Venice force. Yes, sir. Ready and waiting for This army is now capable of being on the march. Ready Once these guys are replenished, they'll hit north. Ready and awaiting orders. Ooh. Mortars? Yikes. I don't think so. Maintain siege. Instead, where are we going to end this episode? Your orders, your master. Actually, when you see what the garrison's like. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, we're going to end this part here. Actually, Target just... Under siege, sir. Hello. Oh, have I just... Spying. Oh, sorry, I've just got to quickly just do something like that. Oh, Lord. Ah, we're going to we're gonna hit end turn, and then we're going to do it. I'll try and see if I can get the gates, if my spy can get the gates open. So let's quickly end turn. 
God, if this end turn is what stops me from getting it, if, like, New Mexico comes in. I mean, I'll counter offer you just a trade. Good. So, so my... This is actually quite useful. So I was meant to be getting about 30 grand a turn. Um, but my actual income is about 10,000 a turn. So not... Not actually what I wanted. Ah, you're gonna they're gonna sell their navy round to try pick up some more forces. The Polish are on the move near Munich. Probably gonna immediately, yeah. Oh no, not attack me. They're just gonna start sending people to raid, which works. Although it looks like all their stuff broken anyway. Probably riots in Istanbul. They probably won't be... To... I should say. But at least we can now see why the Russians acquired as much of a black hole. But my part... You know, getting rid of Mexico. Moving my... <laughs> my... But let's... Before I start popping... Didn't screw it up that bad. Uh, let's wait for what... New Spain... Decides to do. To be honest, if I'm already at war with Russia, then it makes me feel a lot better about declaring on Britain. I mean, I still want to take out my um, France and Westphalia, just because they're annoying. But it does mean that uh, sailing to land on Ireland and attack Britain is still a go. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Machine tools. I'm not going to spend any money there, because that's just asking for the... Russians to break it. Yeah, so I got 15k. Even though I should be getting loads more. Unless people are just, like, trading. People are, like, not being ra not, not being amb uh, blockaded. But then they suddenly are being blockaded. But then they're not. But then they are. Maybe. Uh. So what navy are you? First war galleon to reserves. You're all knackered. Yes, Sail so my fleet over to here to raid this trade route. Because <laughs> then it's like they have to they have to come within range. They cannot cross the gap without interfering with my fleet. So let's move around you, Hamilton, up to Bilbao. This army in Morocco needs to stay where they are, but this is going to be the army that lands in Tunis at some point. Um, but yes, for some weird reason, I'm not actually getting all my money, all the income I should be getting. But that just reinforces how important it is to invest in expanding your tax base, because tax bases are dependable. You don't have good roads either. Action results, right. Let's go check my... Everyone's alliances are broken with France. Okay, let's try... Get a new better... Oh, yes! Europe tax bonus. I mean, that slightly helped. To be honest, I'm tempted to do that now. Because I don't really need... I'm not so bothered about growth right now, it's about income. So, on paper, that's 45,000. Right, Harry Barry. Ready for this is where we're supposed to have left it, but... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Mexico, who thankfully did not get a mortar when I re-attacked them. Cheers everyone, this should be good. Thanks for watching.